Hi, Bhavan Dibhuti. Uh, good evening to all of you. Uh, last week, we had a discussion on uh, the eye exchange in alveoli. We just started. And there are three uh, steps of this uh, respiration. One is uh, external, that means atmosphere, and the lungs. That's inspiration and respiration inspiration and expiration process. The other one is, yes, that intermediate process, gas exchange or AI exchange that occurs in alveoli, right? In alveoli. Today we are going to study. AI exchange in alveoli. Okay, here we draw only one alveoli as you learned last week. A set of alveoli. And you could see associated capillaries. So they are coming. And highly vascularized system. And these capillaries, these capillaries combine together to make that venule of that brings blood, uh, oxygenated blood towards the heart. So this venue, we, we learned that in detail, right? So now we are going to learn. So what happens in a single alveoli? Let's draw that. So here we have to concern all the epithelial tissues here. Actually, only one type of epithelial tissue exists. So this is alveoli wall. So it is lined by simple squamous epithelial tissue. Uh, in your syllabus now, no names to be crammed. Actually, that's not a good thing. You want to know what are these epithelial types? Single cell, single cell layer. This side is lined, and there's a basement membrane actually, no space to draw that basement membrane. So, next. The closer capillary also drawn here. Closer capillary. So here's the capillary, blood capillary. Yes, a part of that actually drawn in red, right? It's better to draw in red, but uh, red blood cell, where yeah, that's Hemoglobin exists. And this is also lined with a single layer, simple squamous epithelial tissue. Epithelial tissue. This side also there's epithelium. So this is the capillary wall. There's a specialty of this even in squamous epithelial tissue as well. Right. Now from where these blood vessels are coming? 
May blood vessels in Nikohin. May I and Nikohat? So you have to know this. So this is oxygenated blood. It flows towards the heart. Therefore, I think it is uh, advisable for you to draw this part in red color. Right? So you can see blood is coming. So that's deoxygenated blood comes from where? From pulmonary artery. pulmonary artery. This is to pulmonary vein. Pulmonary vein. From pulmonary artery to pulmonary vein. Right? That heart is there. Heart to copy meaning and look. I think you have learned that in grade 9. And next we are going to learn this as well. Arterioventricular septum. So this all is somewhat thickened to get that additional pressure required to pass blood throughout the body. So this left Atrium is, uh, you can see, four major veins come in. And before the combination, it comes at as a single one. And this is from the other lung. So these are pulmonary veins, left and right. Yes. So this blood, this oxygenated blood is sent to these pulmonary veins. So where that oxygenated blood comes to the left side of the heart. Right? So this is from where? So that's by the pulmonary artery that brings blood to both lungs. But that's deoxygenated blood. So there's a semilunar well here. So this is how it is sent. So this blood is coming from this pulmonary artery, but they are deoxygenated blood. Therefore, its purpose of sending that blood to the alveoli is for the oxygenation. So this is just air passage. You know that's Trachea, right and left bronchioles and bronchioles. So this air tubes. Inhale air that's rich with more oxygen. O2 concentration is very high. So when that is removed from alveoli, that means in the process of expiration, so more carbon dioxide is released. Okay, you can see. This utilized blood, less amount of oxygen comes. So this oxygen concentration is very low. Therefore, diffusion of oxygen starts here. Diffusion of oxygen starts from this alveoli space to red blood cells. So this is the oxygenation process. Oxygenation. So in that, what happens? Hemoglobin in red blood cell combines with oxygen to form oxyhemoglobin HPO2. So this is happening to both direction, forward and reverse direction. Right? Okay, so you can see more carbon dioxide concentration can be seen in this blood plasma as carboxy, sorry, as uh, bicarbonate ions. So it starts to diffuse into this alveoli, alveoli sac. Why? This carbon dioxide concentration is 
very low. It's carbon dioxide concentration compared to this blood plasma, that's very low. So, so this is the diffusion of CO2. And this is the diffusion of O2. Right? So this oxygenation, oxygenation happens to the site and carbon dioxide gas is released with that expiration process. So this is the overall action that happens in alveoli. Okay, um, quickly draw this. This is from pulmonary artery. This is towards the pulmonary vein. Okay, uh, so look at this paper. So this is uh, what we have taken down uh, last week, right? A single alveoli, and it's a cluster of alveoli. Okay, from where this blood comes? So it can be questioned here, right? Is this a tissue, right? So this oxygenated blood is given to a tissue. The tissue utilizes that oxygen and send back through the X. So this X must be connected to here. X goes to the heart. And from the heart, it is sent to this alveoli. So a set of questions associated with that, right? So this is that overall action that happens. So this is another question. So diffusion of carbon dioxide into the alveoli and diffusion of oxygen into that blood capillaries. Right. So this process is inspiration. This process is expiration. Okay, next topic is very important. So that's characteristics of respiratory surfaces. 
characteristics of respiratory surfaces. So, that's appeared in exams normally. Characteristics of respiratory surfaces. So, so what are these respiratory surfaces? One of the main respiratory surfaces again. So, so what are the examples? Yes, uh, you know that the starts they do their respiration through the wet skin. And uh, annelids also do their respiration through their wet skin, right? Oxygen dissolved in this wet skin and then it diffuses into the body. Another one, gills of Fish, gills, wet skin, right, where can be seen? Yes, amphibia. Amphibians. Gills, you can see in fish. And in mammals, we can see this alveola. So that's not only mammals, so we can see lungs in some instances as a example, lung fish can be seen. Okay. So it's respiratory surfaces, there are characteristics peculiar to that. So for a patient, absorption of oxygen, first it has to be dissolved in uh, that moisture. <clears throat> so surface always moistened and permeable to gas. Permeable means it allows that air molecules to penetrate through the Membranes. Okay, take down the first uh, characteristic of the respiratory surface. Surfaces are moistened. It's sightable, moistened. Root surfaces. Surfaces are moistened. Moistened. What's the reason behind that? Then oxygen can dissolve in that moist, then it is easy to diffuse across membranes. To make it easy to dissolve oxygen and then to diffuse
Okay, you can see that very thin, only a uh, few layers of epithelial tissue can be seen, right? So, existence of thin epithelium. Surface should be thin for the diffusion of gases. Very thin surface with few epithelial cell layers. What's the reason for the efficient? Diffusion of gas for the efficient diffusion of gases. For efficient diffusion of gases. Right. What happens if that huge lung is only one chamber? Air contact surface area is very low. But when it is uh, when it is uh, divided, when it is divided into small chambers, so their surface area is very high. You learned that in the lesson nanotechnology. In nanotechnology, you learn that when breaking down uh, a single surface into many particles, surface area can be increased. Large surface area of absorption. So I'll write that there, right? Large surface area of absorption. Large surface area of absorption. Example. Existence of. Large. Number of. Existence of large number of alveoli. Existence of large number of alveoli. When number of alveoli increases, the surface area also very high. Another thing, area size value not the dark name, blood dirt absorbed karagan the vein. Therefore, that's Coverage of blood capillaries also have to be increased. Make it, you know, adhikal is a vahini matvim. Again, vahini. Lots of capillaries. So we call that being highly vascularized. Being highly vascularized. Surfaces. Being highly vascularized surfaces being highly vascularized so that means blood vessels so this coverage of blood vessels is very high being highly vascularized Okay, so out of them, so our 
respiratory surface, this human alveoli, it has special adaptations. So we have to learn that as well, right? So adaptations of alveoli for efficient air exchange. Okay, adaptations of alveoli. Adaptations of alveoli or efficient. Efficient AI exchange. First one, you can see a dense capillary network, the coverage of a dense capillary network. Coverage of Dense Ghana, dense capillary network. Okay, I'll make a made to the Sarlo Givet being highly vascularized, being highly vascularized. Yes, the wall thickness has that respiratory surface adaptations in wall surface thin wall of alveolar. It's only few. layers of only few layers of epithelial cells Let us say it above. Moistened alveolar surface Let us say it a window. It will tell you that the avila oxygen at the water diffuse vein. So this wet condition. This means moistened. Being moistened is highly important. Then oxygen dissolves in that moisture. 
and it's efficiently absorbed into the alveoli. Moistened alveolar surface. Yes. Presence of large number of alveolar sacs. For what? For what? To increase the surface area. Existence. Large number of alveolar. Sex. Okay, by that we have completed the second step of the respiration. First one is that atmosphere to lungs. Second step is yes, air exchange that occurs in alveoli. Next, cellular respiration. Right. Okay, let's move on. Cellular respiration. Right. So, right. This is the final step of the respiration. This is the final step of the respiration. This is the final step of the respiration. Take down. When oxygen is diffused into blood, when oxygen is diffused into blood, when oxygen is diffused into blood, it is sent to it is sent to the heart. It is sent to the heart by the pulmonary veins. By the pulmonary veins. Artery in a vein, right? It's pulmonary veins. Where does it? Left atrium, Ekaterina. Then, it is sent throughout, then it is sent throughout the whole body. It is sent throughout the whole body tissues, all body tissues by the outer, by the outer. Or systemic artery. Right. Next, take down. When this oxygen is, when this oxygen is sent to the tissue cells, sent to the tissue cells. It starts to react. It starts to react.
with the carbohydrate energy substrate carbohydrate energy substrate glucose starts to react with carbohydrate energy substrate carbohydrate energy substrate not only carbohydrate but also it starts to react with lipids amino acids later on but the first energy substrate is glucose carbohydrate energy substrate glucose inside the energy producing center inside the energy producing center the organelle mitochondria the organelle mitochondria This is known as the cellular respiration. This is known as the cellular respiration. Cellular respiration. Cellular respiration is of two types. One is aerobic respiration, the other one is what? Anaerobic respiration. Aerobic, the second one is anaerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Subtopic aerobic respiration. Aerobic respiration occurs when there is enough and there is enough oxygen amount anaerobic respiration occurs anaerobic respiration occurs When oxygen is not available, when oxygen is not available, or when oxygen is not needed, when oxygen is not needed, when oxygen is not available, or when oxygen is not needed. Okay, so that's aerobic respiration process. Right, so that's glucose starts to react with oxygen. So so there's a burning process, but uh, that happens under body temperature with the help of that biocatalysts enzymes. So they are respiratory enzymes.
what is produced? Carbon dioxide. Water plus energy. Yes, when you add that formula by using symbols C six H twelve or six plus oxygen O two. Carbon dioxide, CO2. Actually, at the beginning of this lesson, we have taken down this water. It's H2O and energy. It's irrespective of this glucose. Except glucose, we put six molecules for all other instances. Actually, this is the reverse reaction of the photosynthesis. You remember that. Water and carbon dioxide with the solar energy, not chemical energy, the solar energy. So it's a reverse reaction. The main product is glucose, byproduct is oxygen. So that's uh, the opposite action of the respiration. So this produced energy is stored in. Energy plus phosphate group plus PI, right? And adenosine diphosphate ADP. So what is formed? Adenosine triphosphate. So this is also a reversive reaction. When it requires energy, so this triphosphate, adenosine triphosphate is broken down into ATP is broken down into adenosine diphosphate and phosphate group is released with the energy. So adenosine triphosphate is just like charge battery, charge your battery. It can release energy when it is required at once. A glucose burn curriculum in the vein, this yakuna, right? Balla kelewa, balla, excuse me. Inside my cells, that cellular respiration takes place. Balla podakin, in the vein. So quickly, so for running, that's quickly, that's ATP is converted into energy by breaking down into adenosine diphosphate and phosphate group. Yes, in anaerobic respiration, what happens? So without oxygen, that glucose is fermented. That's called fermentation, passerine. Anaerobic. Here, glucose molecule carbon dioxide
plus ethanol plus energy. Here, the amount of energy released by anaerobic respiration is very less amount. So this happens in fermentation. So this process is called fermentation. Uh, this is done by yeast acid, yeast on toddy, see toddy, right? Mira, I'm telling you, you know, I mean, they to ferment with chenati wa penny or say on the sucrose solution, there's a good sucrose solution, and all that yeast activates to do this glucose carbon dioxide and ethanol. Yeast get you know enzyme digak. One is inotase. Inotase convert that uh, sucrose into glucose and fructose. So all that mo monosaccharide is activate. Yeast other enzyme is that's uh enzyme is so it converts that's uh that fermentation starts okay you can write that glucose make it only in the that that happens in plants right in plants this happens not in animals in plant in plants this happens glucose H2L O6 C6 H2L O6 CO2 ethanol C2 H5 OH plus energy. Okay, make a note. Compare to Aerobic respiration compared to the aerobic respiration. Very little amount of, very little amount of energy is produced energy is produced by this anaerobic respiration by this anaerobic respiration Right, next take down. When this anaerobic respiration occurs, when this anaerobic respiration occurs, when this anaerobic respiration occurs, in when this anaerobic respiration occurs in animal's body, animal's body.
when this anaerobic respiration occurs in animal's body, instead of ethanol, instead of ethanol, lactic acid is formed. Lactic acid is formed. Very painful, right? Uh, when that oxygen is not enough, anaerobic respiration occurs, then lactic acid is formed. Then it gives uh, burning, a kind of a bad sensation, a pain is given. Uh, I can experience like a gun the puluang, right? So you can bend your hand like this. Right? This is painful. So you cannot bend this. But try to bend. Try to bend it, then it happens. Okay. A painful, right? We can eat the Sometimes uh, when swimming. No oxygen in tissues. But you have to swim. Then what happens? Then anaerobic respiration occurs. And so that's lock, it locks your muscles. So that's lactic acid fermentation occurs in animal's body. Ethanol fermentation occurs in plant's body. So, you can write this word equation. Lactic acid fermentation. Lactic acid fermentation in animals body, glucose, carbon dioxide, so glucose, lactic acid and energy, CO2 in A, and get the gas thin vein, right? Plus energy. Right. Now take down the functions of ATP. So adenosine triphosphate functions. Functions of ATP. 
So what is the main function? Storage of energy, Shakti Gabadakiri. Functions of ATP. Storage of energy. Shaktiya Muda Harinawashadi. So then requires it release energy by converting that into adenosine diphosphate and phosphate group with energy. Releasing energy. Releasing energy. When required, releasing energy when required. So yes, through the blood, it can transport energy. So it acts as energy carrier. Behave as energy carrier. Act as energy carrier. Okay, uh, so what about these days? Uh, you are in holidays? Yes, sir. Uh, yes, yeah, in holidays. So, can you please send us the tweet you shared early so we can get a printout of it? Um, I think that's not you, this paper, right? Question paper. Do you need really? Okay, I'll ask that coordinators to send that. Mommy, you want to get Wait, uh, can you? Can we do a class in morning times? I think although you have vacation, you have to go to schools, or sometimes additional classes in your schools? No. I have, sir. You have? Right in your school, every day? No, sir. Uh, yes. not, not to cover our syllabus, but I have some practice sessions. Uh, practice, yes, you have to practice. Um, yes, maybe whatever the subject every day, every day you are practicing. No, sir, this Wednesday and Thursday and Friday, right? Right, okay, doesn't matter. So, next in this lesson, we have to do that. Uh, respiratory diseases, diseases have to be learned only digestive system. Uh, respiratory system and excretory system, right? And in that another circulatory system, you know that circulation process. In addition to that grain nine part, we can we have to learn that uh, diseases, uh, some of diseases, and uh, that electro that's cardiogram, ECG. This only. Uh, okay. So let's stop here. Let's do uh, the. So actually, I want to do some paper associated with this, all the systems, right? So, not like earlier nowadays, the combined questions appear. Ecosystem, combine, we can uh, ask question combining circulatory system. Um, and respiratory system and excretory system, right? We can combine them. So this uh, blood vessel goes to where, and this is coming from where. So likewise, we can ask what's the nature of blood in that. So we have to know, right? That kind of question has not appeared. The pool question, but uh, we practice in every time. Okay. Uh, so let's stop here. So thank you so much for the participation. Have a nice night. Everyone's a night. God bless you. Everyone's a night, sir.